Did I ever tell you about my first kill, Batman? No? As I am sure you are aware, my parents were dead, and I was rich. So rich, I could have anything I wanted, but of course, all I wanted was them back. I now know that that was impossible, of course, that the yet served a higher purpose. But back then, I hadn't yet to experience the the joy of cold steel cutting through warm flesh. I had no idea how I could save these people from the relentless misery of their existence. You should have stayed that way. Really? Then I'll stop now. Find another telephone, Batman. Goodbye. Human? I think I will continue my story. I feel the need to talk. To confess, maybe. I was rich and alone. But not for long, of course. I took to gambling. Or maybe it took to me. If only I had been good at it. I may not be where I am today. As my life spiraled out of control, I desperately formed a plan. A plan to win back my parents' money and be happy again. It didn't work, of course. Plans like that never do. As I stood outside the iceberg lounge on that hot summer night, I remembered feeling something. Hope, maybe. The iceberg lounge was crawling with the disgusting flesh of humanity. You could find anything there. If you had the money, of course. At the beginning, I seemed to be winning. The cards... All went my way, and I found myself at the owner's table. For some reason, I thought I'd win. Thought he would play fair. I looked around the table. I saw the people I was up against. Card sharks, thugs, princes, and the disgusting midget who ran the place. One by one, they all lost or folded. The chips were piling up. And it was just Mim and me. Alright, let's see how I did. I called him the Penguin. <laughs> Even back then. He had both eyes, of course. That little accident hadn't happened yet. And both of them were looking at me when I put down my cards. The Six of Clubs. The Six of Diamonds. <sighs> he looked scared. He leaned forward. I could... <laughs> Smell the cigar stench off his breath. Six of spades, and finally, the six of hearts. I, I felt good. And then he started to laugh. He belched out a smoke, and he put his card down on the table. God, my card, my heart sank. A three, a four, a five, a six, and then seven! A straight flush hit me there. I was lost, and thrown out into the city to die, penniless. Can you imagine what it was like, Batman? I was numb. I lost everything, and I was alone, crying like a baby staggering through the streets of the city, until I found the answer that I had been looking for. I stood there on the spring bridge. Looking out the sea, I felt the warm breeze on my skin, and it felt good. I looked down, and imagined myself falling into the blissful arms of my mother, and then he appeared. He held out the knife, and demanded my money. My money! Can you believe it? I looked into his cold, desperate eyes. And I saw something familiar, something inevitable. I saw oblivion. I saw that we are all the same, stuck in a miserable loop that demands salvation. So I gave it to him. Can you imagine the vagrant surprise when I grabbed his knife from his hands? He was instinctive. It was... Beautiful. In one movement, 
I sliced at his throat and gave him the gift of salvation. It happened so fast. I felt every joy sensation. The blood sprayed over my face and I saw what little life left his eyes. Leave. Then it was over. I, I felt lost. Like it had been meaningless. That no one would acknowledge my sacrifice. And then it happened. Without realizing what I had done, I had plunged my knife into my forearm and cut deep. It was incredible. I felt my body elevate to a higher place. It had become a temple to my work.